Welcome to C++ strings. Now, there was C strings before a long, long time ago. Matter of fact, it was so cumbersome to use. Matter of fact, we had to worry about the backslash zero. Some of these things should be pretty familiar with here. We had to use some weird functions in order to do the work that we wanted. There was just so much overhead that the old C strings needed that they redid it <laughs> into something that's much easier, and that's C++ strings. So for those of you that are joining me and have not gone over C strings, you're not missing much, but it, it does come up once in a while that you're going to see it. So understand that there is going to be two different types of strings. You're going to predominantly worry about the C++ strings from here on out because, frankly, it's easy to work with. And also, for those of you that are just joining us on, in this topic, you know, Java is very similar in using these type of strings that we're going to be using from here on out in a set of notes. But I want you to understand that long, 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 long time ago, there was a different type of C strings that was out there. They work very similar to what we have in C++ strings, but there's definitely some improvements. You are going to need to include string in everything that you do for all of the exercises and all the work that we do below. But remember, I know we've talked about string you know, in, in, in some simpler terms here, just using and that's about it. But string is going to be the biggest data type that you're going to be using in most of your applications. Think about it. Your application to drive, your application to the university, all these things. Think about the data. Most of the data that you use, if you were to accept it and use it in an application, are going to be strings. There's actually very few things that are going to be integers, floats. Your GPA is a float. That's all I can think of that's a, that's a float. Integer, maybe the income of your family, you know, stuff like that. In reality, string is going to be the biggest data type that we're going to use. And that's why they redid it and why Java put such a big thing into strings is because it's our major data type. We don't want to make it hard. In C, they made it hard. It was ridiculous. So these are nice features that you don't have to worry about since you're just coming into this. So that's the good news. So let me show you some features about C++ strings.